All right, finally, we've been talking about this for like, uh, I don't know what, the last couple of months about doing an interview and things like that. But finally, we've teed it up. Daniel Colossi, I'm so excited to have you on board today. So look, let's just kick it straight off. Tell me about yourself. Well, thanks, Brett. Cheers for having me, mate. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, yeah, a little bit about myself. I'll, I'll kick it off with my background and you know, how I guess we've came into contact and how we've been able to sort of team up over the last few months. But for me, I grew up, um, you know, playing football. The Australian football was my dream. And uh, I always, you know, thought that I was going to be playing professional football and that was going to be me for, you know, my entire life, just going, following my passions. But unfortunately, I lost my football career um, at the age of 19 due to four knee surgeries. And I was forced to go and find a job because I was the kind of person that, you know, never really took school seriously. I was always like, nah, miss, I don't need to do school. I'm just going to play football. And, you know, I was pretty confident in myself. Um, but, you know, when that fall apart, that fell apart, that meant that I had no studies behind me. I had no, um, nothing behind me to go out and get a good high paid job. So my dad got me a job um, on a building site. I was originally a brickies labourer, you know, doing a bit of brick laying. Yep. And then uh, moved into the plastering trade and I spent 10 years there move into my own business. Um, but, you know, after 10 years doing that, I really realized that plastering walls wasn't going to, you know, help me achieve my greatest dreams, goals and desires. So, you know, I went out on a bit of a journey to find something bigger and better, which eventually led me into the mining industry. And I actually worked on a um, gas plant, you know, constructing a gas plant up here in the northwest of Western Australia, where I spent 15 months. And, you know, that was a great opportunity to earn some big money. Uh, I was on about 200000 a year on a wage. But yep. unfortunately, when you're working four weeks away at a time uh, in a desert island, you're never seeing your friends, your family, all that kind of thing, um, I started to look for a better lifestyle business. And, you know, fast forward three years, here I am. I've been on a probably three and a half years now. I've been on quite a journey trying different home-based business opportunities, online business opportunities. and here we are today. So, um, yeah, we get stuck into it. Let's yeah. get about me. <laughs> well, it is all about you today because your story is fantastic. And I'm, I'm so super excited to be able to share it with anybody who's watching and, and everybody who's watching. So, um, one of the key things that you mentioned in there was around the, you know, being working on the mines, um, and earning the 200 grand. Now, as you said, like it's all well and good, like $200,000 a year is massive money. Let's be honest. And, it's yeah, all well and good to be earning that sort of money. But as you said, like I know um, I've done a little bit of work on mine sites myself and I've got mates that are working on FIFO and that sort of thing. You don't have a lifestyle, do you? So, you know, money's good, but you kind of, it's really comes at a big cost when it comes to that. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, it really took its toll. It wasn't even just me. I mean, I knew I was there for a short period of time just to really get some cash flow behind me. And then I just wanted to go and, take some time off and travel the world. Uh, you know, growing up was, it was always since I lost my football career, um, I was always just wanting to travel the world. Everywhere I went, I wanted to just stay there for as long as I wanted until I'd had enough time there and experience the culture, you know, make new friends all around the globe. And that's what I wanted to do with the money I had saved originally. So, you know, when I got there, seeing how depressed and miserable people were, hearing the phone calls of my superiors, people that were, 10, 20, 30 years ahead of me and talking about how hard it was that the missus wanted to leave them because they were never home or, you know, the kids were crying because they, even my brother, I've got two little nieces. My brother worked away for a while and, you know, I witnessed her bawling her eyes out, his little seven-year-old daughter, because she didn't want him to go away for another month. And, yep. you know, when you started to witness all that, you really saw the inside behind the scenes of that industry. And it's no, no wonder that's the highest suicide rate in Australia. Um, that, that industry. So yeah, you make some good money, but definitely not a lifestyle that you want to be living for a long period of time. Yeah, absolutely. And as you say, it's, um, it, it's not just yourself that it takes a toll on, but it's also the people around you and things like that as well. Um, my father was, has been in the industry for, well, was in the industry for 10 years as well, but fortunately he had a, a fairly um, lifestyle friendly roster if, you, if there is such a thing, only working, you know, five days on, two days off. So home every weekend, but you know, I suppose it's a, the best of a bad case scenario, but um, yeah, it's, mm. um, it's massive. And I think the, the key thing that you are really pointing to in there is about lifestyle. 
um, and just reiterating again, like it's not all about the money. Sure, the money's great, but um, you know, the happiness really comes in the lifestyle. And, and I can tell with yourself, obviously knowing you personally and everything as well, that you've um, really been chasing that lifestyle rather than, you know, the money is great and it's, you know, definitely helps and everything like that, but it's not all about the money. As you say, it's about being able to spend that time in a beautiful tropical location or, um, you know, backpacking Asia or, or whatever it is and being able to experience those things um, because, you know, deep down, that's where it really feels the soul. And um, yeah, no, I can definitely hear that. Absolutely. hundred percent. So, All about the lifestyle. Yes, most definitely. So in and around lifestyle. Now I know for yourself that um, whilst we are in an online business these days, um, partnered up in that one, I know that you were in some other lifestyle type businesses before. So let's just, um, you know, not talk about in companies or anything like that because, um, but let's just talk about the industries and the models and things like how was your experience in these other, in these other um, businesses? Yeah, for sure. Well, for me, it began by accident. Um, When I was working away, um, you know, doing four weeks straight, 12 hour days and, you know, 40, 40 degree heat plus it's a desert. And I was really starting to struggle with fatigue. And I actually heard a guy, a friend, well, he's a friend now, but he wasn't at the time. It was actually a half day off. Every second Sunday was only a half day. So we were laying by the pool and I heard this guy talking about how good he felt from these greens, these greens, greens, greens. (laughs) And I was like, this guy's buzzing. Every single day when I I can't wake up in the morning, I'm so drained. As soon as I get on that bus at 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. on the way home, I'm just falling asleep on that bus. I can't even get back to the camp. Yep. So I said, mate, what's your stuff you're talking about? I want to give it a shot. And within three months, I had gotten to probably the best physique that I had ever been in because I used to train quite hard in the gym. And, you know, I didn't have those downhill, um, what would you, what's the word I'm looking for? Crashes. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't, yeah, the crash. I didn't hit the wall after work at 5 p.m. I was just mm. sitting there going, oh, geez, I'm awake. What's, what's going on? So after I, my, about my third order for th- third month, um, the guy said to me, he goes, mate, if you love the products, why don't you have a look at the business? And that was actually a network marketing company and how I got introduced to traditional MLM. And you know, yep. then I was just like, wow, there's a business to this. It's going to be so easy because you, all you got to do is take it and you feel good. So I jumped into that and you know, light bulb moment sort of went off for me. I thought, this is my way out. This is my way to get home. I saw all these guys on there with these flash cars and riding this lifestyle and you know, I just thought it was a be all end all and I dove right in. I actually quit work. Um, I think it was only a few weeks later and I turned away from that $200,000 a year just to come home and, you know, get involved with a home based opportunity. And I was a little bit naive. I thought, yeah, I'll just come home. I've got money behind me. I'll go full time and just give it everything. And, you know, I really did everything wrong. Like <laughs> any sort of entrepreneur does in the beginning. I had no idea what I was doing. I never really had much support. And, you know, I was getting a lot of hate. I was spamming my products all over the, the internet. <laughs> and, um, you know, I quickly figured out with a little bit of advice from um, some more experienced people not to do that. And, you know, I started to find my feet. I got some real training in. And with that eight, within eight months, I started to, you know, really take off. I went from earning about $400 a week to up to $1,500 to $2,000 a week. Um, and that was really life-changing. It, it really was a huge journey as far as personal development goes. It was a huge introduction to, uh, I guess, home-based business. And that went well for a few months there. And then I noticed it started to fall. It started to drop. I realized that I guess I was, felt like I was, I won't won't swear, but (laughs) pushing the S word uphill. You know, I just felt like I was consistently overworked and underpaid and it just became another job. So although, although I, love the products and it was a great vehicle to get started in. I just felt that it wasn't for me and it wasn't really going to give me that freedom that I wanted because I was continuously doing trainings. I was continuously doing online webinars and presentations and continuously recruiting people and just never stopped. And I thought, well, if I was going to work this hard, why wouldn't I just do real estate and earn higher, higher ticket commissions? And that's where I started to have some doubts and, you know, think to myself, maybe, maybe this isn't, for me yep no i can hear you with that one. and and i know as you said like you had some great success but 
one thing that I want to highlight in what you were talking about there, because it's relevant in, in anybody starting out in their first business um, is the personal development side of things. And, and I know we've both spoken about this before um, because we have very, very similar pasts um, that it's really the personal development that is what we're so grateful for as well. What we've learned through the journey and everything is, has just, it's helped us and aided us to be able to be where we are today and, and especially on the journey that we are. And um, I think that's crucial because a lot of people do get into their own online business and start to, um, I guess, get overwhelmed. And I think that's the really big key that people need to appreciate that, you know, I'm trying to think of the, the, the quote, um, uh, basically along the lines that um, if you want something you haven't had before, you've got to become somebody that you've never been before. Yeah. Um, and that's really where the personal development sort of comes into it. So, um, yeah, absolutely. The personal development was the game changer for me and for anyone really. I mean, there's a, another quote, uh, I know Ty Lopez says it a lot, but I'm not sure if he was the first one that said it, but it, it's the more you learn, the more you earn. And yep. that's completely true. There, there is, if you become an expert in any sort of field with knowledge, you can earn a lot of money in that field. doesn't matter if it's on the law of attraction or if it's on a physical product, if it's personal training, whatever it is. So personal development is an absolute must. And I'll always be grateful for, you know, that, that model, that business model originally, you know, kicking me off with that development. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, what I also hear in there is around like education and, um, because obviously ultimately personal development is a form of education and, um, I guess that's one of the things that have had me um, fall in love with the the company that we're now with and the the online business that we're we're both um, working with is because it does sit within the education space. Because, as you said, education is is the biggest key to be able to learn the skill sets. Um, that's what's going to really allow you to be able to step forward in in anything. And as opposed to being, um, I guess, dependent on any sort of company that that is a product based company. Um, that's one thing that I've noticed for myself and uh, you know at the same time talking about the support um, I've been in the same situation being overwhelmed and not have uh, any support or anything like that but I know if uh, if people are following my uh, interviews here they would have seen the interview coach Christie you know co the coaches in this this business are the ones that actually support and educate and um, I guess nurture anybody getting started and you know, that highlights what you're saying about um, really having that support in the system and also the, the time automation as well. Yeah, absolutely. So when I started to realize the, you know, MLM probably wasn't for me, I actually just took a step back for a while and I went back to my original idea. Originally, before I ever started that, I was actually pushing my fitness brand and trying to build an Instagram account because I yep. saw these guys killing it, you know, selling their training programs on Instagram and you know what, looking back now, it would have been good to stay with that. But also, you know, it was, I learned a lot of lessons along the way. But when I, I guess, moved out of MLM to the internet marketing space, that's where I really, um, I guess, had a, another light bulb moment where I thought everything I've been trying to do, I've been trying to do with the wrong vehicle. It was almost like, you know, the blind leading the blind with MLM. Uh, a lot of the people trying to run the trainings, like myself included, I was, I was doing the best I could, but I was still learning. I was still new. And there wasn't really professionals that had proven results that were guiding you step by step. There wasn't people that had walked the walk, you know. And when I got started with this system, the best thing, the, the thing that probably changed everything for me was initially starting up and getting that call from my coach was Drew and, you know, one of the best coaches that I've ever come across, personal development to a whole nother level. Yep. And just having a call with someone who was a professional who would earn seven figures online and knowing that they were going to guide me from start to finish until I was successful online. And, you know, now we've become good friends. And that's, that was the difference. Just having, you know, a set system within the company itself, but then also the coaches there to guide you through it. It was just a complete game changer. And, you know, the automate, automated process of that because that means not only am I getting that kind of coaching, but everyone I enroll is getting that coaching. So before when I was enrolling people and trying to train them and, you know, I was, it was the blind leading the blind, whereas now I, I'm comfortable knowing 
that my whole team is going to get looked after. And that was the biggest thing for me because I knew that I had had some success, but no one in my team was having any success in MLM. And now they are. People that had never had results before are following the exact same system that I'm using, that you're using, everyone else is using, and they're getting results. And that's just absolutely awesome to see for me. That's what really makes me happy. Yeah, no, I couldn't agree more with you. And that's definitely what had me fall in love with this as well. Um, now, I guess just talking about like the things that you've learned, you know, not, not going into too much detail as to what it is, but um, what are some of the things that you've learned over the last, well, how long have you been with this business for? It's probably coming about eight months or so now. Yeah, since I actually went live, it's been about six months. Yeah. yeah I think this is moving into the seventh month now. Yeah. So what sort of, what's some of the skills that you've learned in the last seven months, six months that um, you've... Where do I start? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I'm looking at the time going, have we got time to ask this question? But I think it's <laughs> crucial because it, it's... Yeah. Um, I've learned so much in the, in the couple of months that I've been involved with this and I know you have as well. So let's just touch yeah. on it and, and go from there. Well, I guess we'll start from the start, right? <laughs> um, I've learned, <laughs> learned, learned so much about so many things but the main ones are you know being able to leverage the internet in ways that i was never able to do before so instead of going around manually on facebook and messaging people in groups and things like that i've been able to learn how to run facebook ads how to set up sales funnels how to set you know um how to use solo ads how to use bing ads and google ads and you know, really leveraging the internet to use these paid strategies that can target specific people all around the world who are looking for what you, you have to offer. Yeah. And that way you're not going out there and harassing all your friends and family and everyone you know. I mean, I'm, a, I'm a, also learned a lot about branding um, and blogging. So I'm, I'm just about to release my own website and my own blog because I want to become a travel blogger and just travel the world blogging all the most amazing destinations all around the world so you know these are all the kind of things that I never knew before and which held me back from living my dreams because I thought you know I had to be home to build my business I was you know never been never able to um, build it while traveling the world whereas with a online business like this where everyone's getting trained and learning the skills of branding and blogging and paid strategies you know now I can sort of relax a little bit more and focus more on enjoying life and you know, when you do that, you're not desperate for it and you can actually enjoy your life. That's when things start to happen even more. It's a compound effect. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I'm going to be alongside you traveling as well. There's no way I'm leaving you. Yeah, I'm not going to be reading through the blog. I'll have my own and I'll, we'll just meet up somewhere and, and things like that. But, um, yeah, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. Um, I'd have to pretty much echo what you're talking about as far as being able to leverage the internet. It's such a... Um, uh, well, it's huge. We all know it's huge. And to be able to master that. And I know we've both spoken about, we're really only just scratching the surface of, of what's possible. And we've already been brainstorming, you know, big things to come when it, with all of the skills that we're learning and everything that we're being educated through these, um, these systems and, and the, I guess the, yeah, just the education system. That's really what it comes down to. So, um, yeah, no, I couldn't agree more. And, Let's just do a, a quick sort of comparative uh, price point or uh, earnings aspect. <laughs> so MLM, I know you're talking about, you know, a couple of grand uh, a week, was it? Um, yeah. Well, income disclosure statement here. Absolutely. You know, every, every, all results may vary and, you know, it's nothing is ever guaranteed. But just to give people an idea, my best ever month in MLM was $13,000 yep. uh, and that only happened once. You know, it was a big launch, a big boom and then after that it really hovered around 6 to 7k a month on average and then it just dropped back down 4k, 3k, 2k and that's you know after mm -hmm. running a few months at 2k that's when I packed in and I said you know what two years of running this 2k a month's not enough for me. Um, but you know moving into the system that I use now online I really actually worked less because I had to go back to my plastering business when I left and I was working full time running my traditional business. And in my first four mm. months, I was able to generate over 50,000 US dollars. Yeah. And in my best fortnight, I pulled in over $18,000. And that for me was just a complete game changer. I thought, I thought to myself, how is this happening? I'm not even doing enough work. <laughs> I felt like I wasn't 
working hard enough because I'd come from this background where all my life I had worked so hard, whether it was in my sports, whether it was in a physical job, whether it was in network marketing, wherever I've been, I've just given it 110% and worked so hard. So to know that I was going to my traditional business and coming home to $500, $1,000 days and commissions, and then eventually scale up to over $2,500 commissions, then I was just, I couldn't believe it. You know, I really couldn't. It was just a complete game changer and I feel so incredibly blessed. Uh, it's just not everyone gets to experience that and I'm so glad that I got to experience it. Yeah, absolutely. And it's just the it's just the very, very start, that's for sure. And I couldn't agree more as far as echoing the, the income disclosure statement. The income will definitely vary and that's, <laughs> that's definitely the case. Um, and I yeah. know you've still... As much as you say you haven't worked that hard, I know you have still put in a lot of effort, but I guess it's the, the benefit of being able to leverage the automated system and, and everything as well. Yeah. And, and, you know, I just, there's one key point that I want to highlight in there. There's a lot of people that want to be able to start their online business and their lifestyle business, but yet they're still working in nine to five and they, they presume that they don't have the time, um, you know, and exactly what you're talking about there. It's, this is definitely a business that can be done with you know, very minimal sort of um, hours input uh, from a weekly basis and in and amongst the, um, your regular job and everything like that. It's, there's no problems with that whatsoever. Yeah, absolutely. I love that one because I'm a true testament to that with even getting my MLM business off the ground. Um, after I, I did leave the mining industry and then I went full time for a while realizing it wasn't going to get off the ground. I had to go back to my plastering job as well. And yep. you know, I did, I built myself up while working my traditional business. And with this same, same thing with this system, I was getting up instead of four thirty in the morning, I was getting up at four o'clock in the morning. I was doing half an hour of work before I went to work yep. and you know, doing my training calls. And then when I was coming home, I said, look, this, this is more important for me. If I give this a couple of months, well, then I can get back in the gym. So I actually stopped going to the gym for a while. I was only, I went from going, you know, five to six times a week to maybe once a week. Yep. And I did that for those first three months until I was able to quit work. And, you know, that's just, it just comes down to, are you willing to do the work? How, how much pain are you in? Are you really wanting to achieve your greatest dreams, goals and desires? Do you have a solid set point? You know, if you, cause the, the get, I guess the biggest thing for me for my motivation is when I got my training, I got crystal, crystal clear on exactly where I wanted to be. And when you know where you want to be and you know that it's within reach, you know you can achieve it with, with a certain system, then you'll do anything in your power to do the work that you need to do. So for me, everything else didn't matter. All distractions went. I just knuckled down, did the work I needed to do, You know, did my plastering business, came home, switched off. Okay, what do I need to learn now? What do I need to put in place online? And it was that kind of mindset that really was enabled me to launch so quickly um, with no experience whatsoever. So there's people, if people want it, they'll do it. doesn't matter how many hours they work. I couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. That's for sure. Um, now I'm, I, I see that uh, for me, the sun's going down a little bit, so I'm starting to lose a bit of light. So we'll start to wrap it up a little bit, but um, I guess, you know, just sort of um, kind of reiterating what you just said there, as far as, um, you know, there's probably people that are sitting on the fence. They're, they're wanting to be able to uh, take that leap. They're a little bit unsure. Um, they're watching people and, and, you know, and, they, and they're ruling themselves out. Like what's some sort of advice that you would give them that, are, that they're just sitting here and going, mm, not too sure about this. Yeah. I guess the first thing people need to do is sit back and assess is what I'm currently doing today going to get me to where I want to be. That was one of the things I always used to say when I was plastering, when I was working in the mining industry, and no, it wasn't. And if it's not, then what are you going to, what are you willing to do to change? If you're sitting on the fence, what have you got to lose? What's the worst that can happen and can you handle it? There are two questions that one of my mentors said to me. And knowing that you can handle it, what's the worst that can happen? Oh, well, it doesn't work. Well, the, the system is proven. There's thousands of people that are making it work. So if it's not working, then there's room for you to grow. The only reason why it's not working is because you haven't figured it out yet. So just jump in. You don't need to be great to start, but you need to start to be great. You know, famous quote, you just got to get in there, dive in and make it happen. I mean, I posted this morning, I'm going on this new cleanse with no meat, no alcohol, no refined sugar, yep. no caffeine, full on. And, you know, people, some people will go and tell you, I'll oh, do baby steps, you know, just cut out the sugar, then cut out the caffeine. I'm, I'm like, no, stuff that, burn your bridge. 
go all in, whatever you're doing, go all in and just make it happen, make it your everything. Don't, don't have a plan B. I mean, obviously you've got to be smart about it and not just go and quit your job and start an online business today, but you know, have some smarts about it, but go all in and just take the leap of faith because you can just never know what doors may open up on the, on the other side. Yep. I couldn't agree more in that regards. It's um, fantastic advice for anybody listening and, and watching. And um, look, as said, we might as well start to wrap it up there. Um, I'm going to also put this up on podcast and, and things like that as well. So um, if anybody is looking to start their online business, their, their um, digital online business, uh, go and head over to www.lifewithoptions.net and go and check that out. Um, I know, Daniel, you can't wait to see them as part of the team as well. So um, we'll be there to welcome Absolutely. everybody and support everybody, that's for sure. But um, yeah, mate, look, any last words? Well, absolutely. I mean, and at the moment, our video training is actually free to start for a limited time. So get in early before that, that startup price goes up because it's absolutely free right now. So you can come in, you can meet your coaches, have a call, go through the, the first six uh, video training videos and just see if it's something that you want to get into. Because I can tell you right now, once you go through those first six training videos, you're going to know that this can really help you achieve all of your greatest dreams. Yep, absolutely. And I know also I did want to talk about Hawaii. Yeah, Hawaii that's coming up. But um, I know there's a there's a company event there in, in March. And I, mate, I can't wait to be there with you. Yeah, it's going to be unreal. I don't know how many people are going in total. But I know with our team alone, I think we've got about 10 or 10 to 12 people coming. Yep. Um, so, you know, we're going to be making a pretty awesome lifestyle video out of that and just really share the vision of what's possible when you, you know, you team up with an, an online I guess entourage like ourselves. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All cool. right, mate, I'm going to end it there. It's been an absolute blessing to have you on board. I know, we, as I said at the start, we've been talking about it for months and I just, I'm so grateful for your time. I'm so grateful for, um, yeah, just being able to, to get on here and share your story and, and be able to inspire and empower other people as well. It's um, super, yeah, I appreciate it. Awesome, mate. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Uh, no worries. Cheers. Cheers. Good night. Bye.